Hi, my name is Emily and I'm a librarian at the Mayapak Public Library and today I'll be talking about Foundation Directory Online Essential and how to access it from home. You're going to start by going to the library's website at mayapaklibrary.org. Once you get to the home page, you're going to go to hover over research and that will open up a drop down menu. You're going to select the Funding Information Network. This will bring you to the Funding Information Network page. It has information about Candid, the databases that we have in the library, as well as the access, the home access to FDO Essential, which you can get here, this little link. So this brings you to FDO Essential. You'll notice, for those of you who are familiar with FDO Professional, the database that we use in the library, this is going to look very similar, and I'll be pointing out the differences as I go through this. To start a search, you're going to go to this Find Funding box and describe what work you do and where you do it. So you'll see at the top that the database takes the terms that I've put in and then it breaks it down into all the possible search terms that I could use. I'm going to click this edit here to edit the search. Now if I see any terms that don't actually apply to the work that I do or what I'm looking for funding for, I'm going to click the X next to those terms to get rid of them. So. If I wanted to add a term, I can start typing and a, a drop down menu will appear. And I just need to select the box next to the terms that I want to add to add that term. The next box here is geographic focus. So this is where the work that you're doing is being done and where you're going to be using the money. Population served is if you work with a specific population, say teenagers or veterans. The next, the next search field is organization name. So this is a field you'd be using if you were looking for a specific organization, say the Ford Foundation. Next is location. Location is where an organization is located. So it's different in grant, geographic focus in that location is a physical address, whereas geographic focus is where the work is being done or where the money is being applied. Who's who can be helpful if you know somebody who is involved in philanthropy. Um, you can put their name into this search field to find the organizations that they are affiliated with. We're going to take a quick look at the additional filters. So support strategy, I'm just going to delete this performances, is the type of program that you are trying to support. So it could be a program or it could be seed money or capacity building. And you'll notice that each of these boxes do have a brief description. So that can be help, a helpful reminder when you're doing the search on your own. Transaction type is the type of support that you're looking for. So that can be money. For a lot of people, it would be a cash grant, but it could also be pro bono work or an in-kind gift. Organization type can be helpful if you're looking for specifically community foundations or companies. You can limit your results by grant amount or by the years. You can limit your results with a keyword, or you can search for organizations using their EIN. Now, since I've edited this search, I'm going to click the search button again to run it again. And then we're going to take a look at the results. Okay, 
So this is where you're going to see a difference between FDO Professional and FDO Essential. FDO Professional has grants and recipient data, whereas that's not available on FDO Essential. So that's these two grayed out boxes here. If you find an organization that seems like a good prospect and you would like to look at the grants data, then you can email the library and I can get back to you with, with that list. The same goes for recipients. If you know of another organization that's similar to yours and you'd really be interested in seeing their profile, I could retrieve that information from FDO Professional for you. What is available in FDO Essential are the 990 tax forms and the Grantmaker profiles. Most of you are probably going to be looking at the Grantmaker profiles, so let's look at that list. We're going to click View All. So there are a couple of different tools up here. The main ones you're going to be using are these tools over here that are for saving. So you can save these results as a PDF, as a CSV, or you can email them to yourself or colleagues. You can email, you can save um, results as list items, so what you see here, or you can save full profiles. You can save 25 list items at a time and 10 full profiles at a time. Let's take a look at a profile. So on the right hand side, you're going to see those similar tools. And again, you're going to be mostly concerned with this PDF to save this full profile or the email function to email the profile. Over here, you'll see that New York Community Trust is an e-grant reporter. So they actually let Candid know any updates to grant information as, as they happen. So this is a very up-to-date account and you can tell by the dates that it is pretty up-to-date. So if you wanna get a preview, you can click this menu option and this will show you all the different sections that are going to be on this profile. So you should start by looking at these charts and you'll see another difference between FDO Essential and FDO Professional here. In FDO Professional, you can really dig into these charts. For example, the middle one for geographic focus, this one you can actually view from a, a state and county level um, on FDO Professional. However, you can still get a lot of good information from this view of the graphs. For example, you can see that this funder is really interested in funding education as well as um, causes in New York. That's the darkest state on the map. And that most of their grants are under $5,000. So you'll see here, this is where you would find the grant the grants on FDO Professional, but as I mentioned before, they're not available in FDO Essential. But you still do see the funding interests, related organizations, an about section, other funders you could consider, the application and RFP section. I definitely recommend looking carefully at those giving limitations. Um, you don't want to spend a lot of time looking into a prospective funder and then find out that your organization is not supported by them. Uh, financial information, the who's who section, communication, so news articles, as well as social media reports and contact information. So this has been a brief tour of Foundation Directory Online Essential and how to access it at home. If you have any questions about this or any other library resource, you can contact the library at askus at mayapaclibrary.org.
Thank you.